Heart disease is the number one killer of Americans, which is why it's so important that we highlight February being American Heart Month, a time when we're encouraged to focus on our cardiovascular health and, of course, here to tell us with tips on how we can stay healthy and why it's so important, we got to bring back our good friend, Dr. Teresa Wee. Good to see you. Hello, Mikey. Okay, heart health, this is something very important that I hope all of our viewers right now, you guys are paying attention, you're listening. Why is heart health important? Heart health is, heart disease is the leading cause of death in the U.S. for both sexes and mm -hmm. really women especially, we need to bring attention to this. Um, it's, it is the leading cause of death um, over all cancers for women. And we see it a lot in Native Hawaiians and South Pacific Islanders. So right. this is something that, that's extremely important to talk about and, and understand. And, you know, there are small things that we can do to protect and decrease our risk of heart attacks. Okay. We talk about lifespan. You know, everyone, quote, is living longer. But what's more important is our health span. We want to stay as healthy as possible. For sure. And one way to do so is self-care. So yes. let's let's piggyback on self-care real quick. What are you know some things that we should keep in mind when it comes to self-care for our hearts? So self-care, you know, it's again, we go back to the basics. It's eating right, getting enough sleep. Mm -hmm. Moving, just moving more. I don't even like the term exercise. Yeah, moving. Managing your stress. We got to manage our stress. You know, we're always so busy, but stress produces cortisol, adrenaline, and, and that's just as bad as eating sugar. So, yeah. and then finally, social connections. I think since the pandemic, people tend to isolate even our seniors, yeah. but we got to get back out and be connected. I'm glad that you said that because... Um, I was telling my friends, I, I just want to just like talk story with them. If not yeah. talk story with them, going out for a walk right. and just reconnecting with them, even if it's for like 30 minutes. You know, exactly. something as small as that can help. Um, but let's talk about um, obstacles. What are some top three obstacles that we should be aware of when it comes to, you know, self-care? I think sometimes people become overwhelmed and they freeze because they, they don't have confidence in their ability to make changes also, there's a lot of anxiety, depression, fear, and that will hold you back. Right. Um, the third thing is, you know, sometimes we just have so many problems, we don't even know where to start. Yeah. So we go, what's the use? Hmm. So those are three obstacles, I think. Okay, I like that. Okay, and, okay, and in terms of strategies, mm -hmm. what are some few strategies to get started towards better health? You know, number one, I don't care if you feel good, if you look good. You got to make your appointment. Keep your annual physical exam with your primary care physician because you got to know your health status. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because heart disease, it, it's a cumulative over 10, 20, 30 years. You don't want to get that heart attack and then begin to work on it. Yeah. So number one, know your your health status. Number two, you know, just just know that you can start working on small things. Um, you just need to get started. And um, the other thing is um, just going ahead and being intentional. Like, you have to set it as a priority. So if you want to exercise or if you want to cook more at home, you just have to do the planning. Right. Also, when you take care of yourself, you are setting examples for, for your kids, for your parents. Um, you are actually being a good role model. Mm -hmm. But finally... Um, my strategy is be around like-minded people. So join me at Walk with a Dock Oahu. So I want to make that pitch today. I love that. Okay, well, let, let's talk about that. You know, if anybody wanted to learn more about Walk with a Dock, uh -huh. um, I've heard about it. Mm -hmm. um, briefly, real, real quick, what is Walk with a Dock? So Walk with a Dock Oahu is my nonprofit organization. I've been doing this for nine years. I meet at Central Oahu Regional Park, Patsy Mink Park, every Saturday from 8 to 9 a.m. near the tennis courts, rain or shine. If there's a drizzle, I'm still there. And what we do, what I do is I start with a new health tip every morning. So you get educated. We warm up. We walk. We welcome people of all ages, of all health, yeah. um, you know, um, okay. conditions. 
And it's a great way, you know, if anybody wanted to ask you, you, mm -hmm. know, you know, some health concerns that they may be thinking about, some tips that they should have in mind. Um, and speaking of that too, say they can, um, they want to learn more information about Walk With The Dog, or maybe even just reach out to you in general. Is there a website, you know, is there a number that they should call? You can, you can um, look at my website, wewellnesscenter.com. You, we have a Facebook page, Walk With The Dog Oahu. Perfect. And um, otherwise, you know, just come to the park. I love that. 8 a.m. and it's free. It's a family event. You can bring your dogs on a leash. Perfect. And, you know, even if you have a walker, just come out for the social connection. Yeah. It, it's been such a rewarding experience for me to see people get that first, you know, they just get that first kick. Yeah. Yeah. to start because sometimes it's so overwhelming you can't even start well it's like what you said right it's the like-minded people it's being surrounded by other individuals who want the best not just for themselves but for the people around them you guys um again it's we want a center.com um we'll have more information on kh12.com dr we thank you so much for coming in thank we you, appreciate Mikey. all of the tips <laughs> and thank you for you know for keeping us you know in the loop with everything thank you mikey